So it looks like that people are excited about the next Call of Duty game, guys. <laughs> about Black Ops Gulf War, which is gonna be the next uh, game, Call of Duty 2024. We got trailer dates leaking out. We got gameplay leaks. We got perks, maps, remaster maps are also coming yeah. apparently. But, however, I said everybody excited, but there is only one man that's not excited about the game, guys. Bruh. And today, we're gonna be diving right into it. Like this video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, and get ready for the... <laughs> let's get ready for the drama. Roll it. Link Truth here, bringing you some more Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War news. We have all the leaks now. I made a video the other day covering the perks that leaked and showing my disappointment. Yeah. And uh, I think we have everything <laughs> yeah. that's gonna... I, I feel like that... Yeah, in the last video, we were talking about, right? Like, don't let Blame Truth find out about the remaster maps that are gonna be coming in this game. Yay! You didn't know that? Yeah, we're getting remaster maps in this game as well. More on that in just a little bit, but uh, I wanna hear his disappointment on that too, though, so Leak hopefully we get to hear our that. leisure. So let's cover okay. it, but before I do, I, I kinda wanna uh -oh. get this common misconception out of the way. I, I was going uh -oh. through my old videos, um, and, you know, I wasn't really a YouTuber back in 20. 14 to 2018, I was a Twitch streamer. I played Call of Duty on Twitch because I liked it. And I remember when Black Ops 4 came out, having to defend that game. Because even up to that game, I mean, Call of Duty's been getting complained about pretty harshly yeah. since Call of Duty. But I never heard you defend any Call of Duty game! What? What? The ghost. And as it should, I mean, even back then we had uh, loot boxes and other stuff people didn't like. Yeah. But I actually like Black Ops 4. That, that stands <gasps> as... Oh my gosh! Oh shit. Oh shit. I never heard you defend Call of Duty ever though! Maybe I need this helmet. May maybe, yeah, maybe my memory is becoming foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom right now. Maybe I need this helmet. Maybe I need this helmet. Hook me up with that bl uh, Blame Truth uh, 10. Uh, I don't need 10% discount. I need 100% discount. Like the video if you need a 100% discount code too, guys. As the last Call of Duty game, the last real Call of Duty game to me, traditional prestige, it brought yeah. us 150 health, which I like that change. It was a hero shooter. It tried something different, kind of ripped off Overwatch a bit, but I can forgive it because I thought it was good arcadey fun. I think it's the last good Treyarch game they made. It had blacked out. I, I don't know. I, I liked it. And I remember back then actually making videos defending the game. Like, no I never heard you defend any Call of Duty game, bro. But honestly, though, on a, on a real though, like Black Ops 4 was the last, like, I guess good Call of Duty game, right? Like, now, for the time, I remember people were complaining about it and rightfully so. But looking back at it, bruh. It was a dang good masterpiece. What that game didn't have, right? It didn't have a friendly It also had zombie maps, right? Battle Royale was busting though. You know, Blackout was busting. I, I, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, Blackout was busting. Zombies, <laughs> zombies had a pausing button as well. Zombies had a pausing button. Uh, it has zombies maps. Multiplayer was all right. I mean, it was all right. Uh, but 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 yeah, l l looking back, masterpiece. But at the time when it came out. Seconds were complaining and rightfully so, but I never heard Blame Truth defend that. That's cap. No That's matter what you cap. say, guys, no matter what you fucking say, it's the internet, man. Okay. A, you know, non people down will just, uh, from the protection behind their cracked, semen covered iPhone screens, will just type out whatever. Doesn't matter if you're liking something, disliking something, whatever. So at a certain point, I'm just like, who gives a shit? I'm not going to pander to anyone. I'm just going to say what I actually feel, right? But yeah, like, I, yeah. I was in defense of Black. Yeah, stunning, stunning, brave, go king, or queen, uh, king, my bad. Cops 4, when that game came out, I couldn't understand why a lot of people didn't like it. I just don't think they were very good <laughs> at it. Uh, it had a higher skill gap, I think, than most Call of Duties due to the increased health, and I think that just rubbed people the wrong way. That and the specialist abilities just rubbed people the wrong way, but I get it. I get it. Modern Warfare 2019 comes out. I think this brings this entire new generation to Call of Duty, especially with Warzone releasing shortly after, and now we have this, like, really divisive split in the community. So a lot of newer players will not understand what I'm complaining about. A lot of newer players will think all this stuff I'm about to list to you will be brand new, fresh content. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you right now that uh, if you've played this game for any amount of time, if you're like an old head, if you're an old school Call of Duty guy, you're true, not going to like true. what I'm about to uh -oh, share. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we'll be getting down hey, to it, I get boys. shit every single year when I say, hey, this next Call of Duty, from what I've seen from the leaks, looks really bad. You know, and then people will downvote me, and then I swear to you, they will go back to that video where I called it and be like, hey, BT, I was wrong. You were right. Yeah. This game sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. It happens yeah. ever. Okay, stop. Stop. <laughs> Pump the brakes, dog. Come on, man. Yeah, why y'all be doing that to the homie BT, though? Like, whoa. Come on, man. Uh, Blame Truth says that I'm sorry, but Modern Warfare 2 is gonna suck. <laughs> Uh, honestly, it was bad. It was bad. Yeah. 
but the Call of Duty homeboys were like, okay, this time Call of Duty will be saved. And I'll tell you this, okay, if this time Call of Duty 2024 sucks, everybody's gonna say, well, you know what, Call of Duty 2025 is gonna save the game. It happens every single year, but to be honest, we did a video on X Define not long ago, right? And, and be honest, guys, be honest, I want I want you going in the comments right now, okay? Go in the comments, boo-boo, I, I want to see what, what you have to say as well, because seriously, X Define, everybody's saying it's a piece of trash right now. Bruh. Not my opinion, that's what everybody's saying, right? Like, everybody's saying, I ain't gonna be playing that game. Call of Duty Killer, more like X Dead, uh, from X Defined to X Delayed to now X Dead, Bruh. right? Like, that's what suckers are now saying, and I'm like, damn, bro, like, uh, so, we, uh, 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 yeah. Homies were kind of enthusiastic about the game, there was a lot, whole lot of enthusiasm, people were like, really, really positive. A lot of people were like, this is gonna be the Call of Duty Killer, and well, we're finding out that it's, it's uh... X Define Killer, X Define is X Define Killer. So knowing that information, and there is nothing coming out right now. Uh, you know, we're not gonna have the next Battlefield game till next year, right? There is no good and new FPS game coming out other than Call of Duty 2024. Bruh. Gray Warzone or Gray Zone Warfare, yeah, it's good, but it's not like that's not gonna hit the normies though. That game is not for the normies. Call of Duty game is for the normies. The BBC bundles, oh hell yeah, the friendly, the friendly, UAV, online. The friendly UAV online, it hit the normies very, very well, guys. Let me just tell you that one though, but oh, wait yeah, for dude. it. Last video, I actually lost subscribers before gaining some later on, but like people will downvote you and, and you'll lose subscribers. People just literally cannot handle the truth now. It, it, it's, it is what it is, man. If I'm the bad guy for just trying to save somebody 70 bucks and give them my honest opinion, then fine by me. But regardless of what I'm about to show you, true or false, the predatory matchmaking. F false, false. Oh, no, that's true. That's true. My bad, my bad. That's, that's true. But also, on a real though, can you also hook me up and save me money? And can I get that? Is it I restore? Bruh. I think it's I restore, right? Or more like I re. I get retweeted. Oh, I cannot say that word on YouTube right now. So <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, right? You wear the helmet, you become I get retweeted. <laughs> will be the exact same. Bumbaka. The cheating issue, which is getting worse by the day, will be the true, exact true. same. So true. let's delve into this because this is something that can help you on current Call of Duty, as well as the new Call of Duty coming out. If you are just hell bent on playing Call of Duty, but you don't like the matchmaking, this okay. is about the only thing you can do. Let's okay. roll that footage. Now get back to the leaks uh -oh. in just a second. Uh -oh. So cheating and skill-based matchmaking have is this an ad or to be the worst offenders for any online multiplayer game right now. I've taken a break from Call of Duty, but I still run into cheaters and there's still strict skill-based matchmaking even in games like Dead by Daylight. So what I do to fix these issues is private internet access. Yeah! Okay, that was smooth though. I gotta say that. Holy, that was actually smooth though. I gotta give you that. Damn, homie. Yeah, that was kind of smooth. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ow, ow. Plus four free months. Damn. Blame for number one choice. <laughs> yeah, I also have done private uh, VPN in the past, too. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Showed you guys the perks the other day, but we're going to go over them again here. There actually are some new perks that leaked, and there appears to be some brand new stuff. So, good. <gasps> new perks? Oh my god! The majority of these perks though, if you've played any amount of Call of Duty, you'll recognize them. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that we've seen a million times before. And I, I don't mind this to an extent. I think there needs to be some quintessential perks, like, you know, like Flak Jacket, which seems to be missing from this list. Maybe it'll be named something else, I don't know. Attack Mask as well, I think, are like these quintessential perks that just yeah. give you this rock, paper, scissors style perk setup. I like that. Yeah. I'm not seeing either of those in this list. Uh, we're seeing some staples here. I don't know why Anti-Up and Hardliner in the list, because those were the same perk at a certain point in time. But most of this stuff, I'd say 80, 90% of it is just stuff we've seen before. We have some new stuff though like grave mm. robber not sure what that is heavy metal hunt master those are yeah, probably I, I things do agree i do agree with this like sometimes what these circus do at call of duty or uh, i mean activision those retweets what these circus do is that they just change the name of the perk it's the same perk they change the name and call it brand new Bruh. it's brand new it's brand new that's that's how what, what they do but after all like yeah right like it's a perk like what are they gonna do like uh, to be honest though yeah, with, with Call of Duty, how many years has it been? Like, almost two decades or more than two decades? So, at this point, I don't know what they can do, to be honest. The only thing I want is cheaters free Call of Duty, uh, free Call of Duty, uh, make multiplayer great, make multiplayer free, make zombies free, let zombies have a, an actual zombies map, like the video if you agree. Let zombies have a pausing button, cannot even believe it that I'm saying that right yeah. now, because we used to get it back in the days, it seems like that now they're having these issues. Actual zombie maps, zombies. 
zombies crew uh, and I mean no hit to a BBC bundle even I got a BBC I'm a brown man even I got a BBC but Bruh. like damn bro we don't need the BBC bundles bro make actual content we need content we demand content we demand free Call of Duty we demand good game we demand new maps we demand more maps we demand good maps and once we have good amount of new maps, then y'all suckers can have remaster maps too. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. We have seen in previous Call of Duties, they may just be under a different name. We don't have the fine details yet. But if you take oh, a look uh -oh. way down at the bottom there, you're going to see Survivor. This is uh, Last Stand, Second Chance, whatever you want to call it. <gasps> and apparently it's going to be a way to pick yourself back up as well off the ground. So... Make of that what you will. Overall, the perks look okay, but I'm worried there's going to be some essential things missing, and I worry that the new things aren't going to actually be new. But let's get into the streaks. This is where it gets very interesting. What do you guys notice about these streaks? Seriously, what do you notice about them? I'm going to tell you what I notice about them. There's absolutely nothing new. Everything, every single thing has been in a previous Call of Duty before. The honey pot, you might be saying oh, that's new. I think it's just a booby trap care package. You drop it, you throw it. Hopefully some dumbass will like open it. But let's let face it, you if you're this. any good, you're going to be in the higher tier SBMM lobbies. And that's not going to work yeah. like ever. So what I might do for and, fun... And you know the sad thing here is that... And no, I know I'm about to pour like salt on everybody wounds right now. My, myself included. But guys, it's the honest goddamn truth, right? These suckers that were at X Defiant, they said that no skill base I paid. No! No! Zero! Zero skill base match again. Maybe that's true, maybe that's not. Looks like it's true. But now it's like, nobody gives a damn about that anymore. Activision out there doing helicopters with their release, they're sniffing their farts, they're out there like uh, trying to flex, and they're out there, okay, uh, thinking about like, and coming out with a new strategy to dick their player down, which is us, like dick us down, um, and, and maybe shove like a microtransaction in between the, in the cheeks as Bruh. well. Perhaps uh, twenty dollars. You gotta pay twenty dollars for a bundle. Nowadays it's more like thirty dollars. Sometimes even eighty dollars. You've uh, you've seen that monkey punch for that eighty dollars. Yay, that eighty dollar monkey punch. That Godzilla, that King Kong punch, right? These things are really, really doing that. But but sad reality is that extra fine, no skill based matchmaking. People get excited, but then. It's like they delayed the game so much and we're at a point where people don't even care about it. Maybe you care. All right, that's fair. That's fair. But I'm talking in general, like majority, right? Majority of the people don't care. And some of you are probably going to be like, well, excuse me, I'm going to play it, bro. I don't care what anybody else says. But for X Defined to succeed, you need a lot more players. You need a lot of people playing that game for that to compete with Call of Duty. Maybe you love it and that's fair. Okay, that's fine. But... A majority is like, nah, bro, it's chalked, it's X dead, that's what people are calling it. So, I don't know if it can compete with Call of Duty, and they were like, hey, man, we're gonna do no skill-based match, we people were excited, myself included, and come to find out that the game content is not there. Game content, that's priority. Also, no skill-based match, I'm always with no skill-based match, man, bro. Fun is I might reverse boost and join Billy Goat 57 and uh, throw a bunch of honey pots and just kill the like moronic enemy team that way. That actually sounds kind of fun. But everything oh else we've seen it before, uh, e even down to the um, you know Hellstorm missile, the Valkyrie rockets. I mean all this stuff. The RCXD is making its return and that, that's fine. That yeah. can be like a staple. You know you need the staples, right? You need like the recon drone, the UAV, whatever counter UAV care package. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know RCXD. Yeah, that like Nuketown remaster for the maps. But does he know about that remaster maps are coming? Uh oh, uh oh, I don't think he knows yet. Maybe he's saving it for the next uh, video. Maybe, yeah, that's where he's gonna complain about the oh, look at the remaster maps. Yeah, we're hearing it's also gonna have remaster maps. Now, listen, guys, I'm not against remaster maps, I'm against the idea of them making so little new maps and so little new content, everything new that semi decent that looks all right that looks good and I perhaps also is good when you play with it i'm talking about the microtransactions right everything that's decent it gets thrown behind a paywall everything decent gets thrown behind a paywall so like what the hell is going on and then they pop the content they call it new but they remaster the maps and they call it brand new i mean damn bro like where are we what, what are we doing here i'm not against the idea of remaster maps as long as we have good amount of decent new maps Okay, after that, you get everything remastered. Hell, give me all the older Call of Duty remaster maps. I'll take it, but make the new game, bro. Make a new game. That's good, too, bro. That stuff are staples. Helicopters, all that stuff. But 
God, what I would do just for something new, man. No, don't something do helicopters. Just brand new. Like, take a chance. I get that it's in the Gulf War, but I mean, this game's not realistic. It's <laughs> this game does not care about that. They never do. I mean. 21 Savage and Snoop Dogg and shit are in, like, World War II. Nicki Minaj is on the battlefield. Like, who cares at this point? Just make shit up. Like, the game just continues to they not did, know bro. what it wants to be. It sells itself as this essential, like, Gulf War experience or this essential World War II experience or this essential 80s Cold War experience and then three months into the game's life yeah, cycle. Yeah, BBC you bundles, have this stupid stuff. Anime that, bundles. It's not canon to the time period at all. <laughs> it's one or the other. Make up your mind. Stop false advertising to us. But I don't know. I see these two things, and I'm just like the, the perk list and the, and the kill streaks and whatnot. To be honest, I rather like this helmet in the game at this point. Right. Yeah, put this game, uh, put this uh, helmet in the game. Uh, and I'm just like, dude, this just looks like the same exact game. And you guys know I covered it earlier. You guys know the matchmaking is going to be the exact same thing. Sadly, it's gonna sadly, be the exact sadly. same thing we've complained about. Microtransactions, they're just going to keep rising in price. I don't know why these things have inflation. I mean, the games are going to be $70 now. The games are $70, at least Call of Duty games are now. So, I, I don't know. I, I just can't look at this part. stuff and really get excited. A, a lot of maps are making their return. And look, Treyarch makes great maps. And look, they make great zombies too. Cold War, for all the shit I gave it. I love the zombies. I played the zombies more than the multiplayer. But if you think this... Honestly, like, zombies gameplay was actually fun. But other than that, bro, it didn't hit people in the G-spot though, right? Like... <sighs> At least for me, maybe you guys loved it and that's fine, but for me, like, I want a zombie screw. Is it me or you guys, uh, or maybe, like, you guys are like, oh, that's cool, bro. Like, give me a multiplayer map and I can play my champion on it, right? Maybe, okay, that's fair, but, but like, I, I think the reason I was not satisfied and the reason I'm constantly saying, like, zombie screw, zombies map, dedicated zombie map, pausing button in the game. Bruh in the game bro back in the days we could pause our zombie games till if i forget to pay my electricity bill then yeah sure power goes out and then my ps3 is dead Bruh. and then my game ultimately dies with it right or if my console somehow dies then obviously my pause game will go along with it it will be sent to console heaven okay yeah understandable but can a brother perhaps get to pause the game though because back in the days bro i could have paused the games every single time i chose to play zombies okay i could have paused it whenever i wanted like for example i'm playing right now i'm playing playing i want to pause i want to scratch my balls hey boom paused it right there <laughs> nowadays i can't bro I, I just can't i just can't so zombie screw we need that absolutely like the video if you agree this is gonna Dislike be any different any like radical change that gives you this fresh new experience from you know, cold war you're mistaken it, it's going to be i'm sorry i'm sorry but it's going uh -huh. to be the exact same game with like maybe this minute thing being different, which is what Cold War was. Cold War did nothing better than any previous Treyarch game before. And I was excited for Cold War before it came out. I, I really was. Man, I ate my words. I ate my words. I was wrong. I could not be more wrong. And I learned after that. I learned very fucking quickly after that to not even be cautiously optimistic when it comes to Call of Duty, because let's face it, at the end of the day, they just want to sell you bundles. They just want to sell you <laughs> shit after you've already yeah, bought yeah, yeah. the game for seven dollars. It's that's just what it is. It is it is a means to get you into the store and Facts. sell you a bundle. There are going to be more bundles than ever this year, and they're going oh, to be yeah. ridiculous. Uh, if you think Cheech and Chong and Modern Warfare Three turning people into blunts is insane, like just wait. They're going to have some. I swear to you, they're going to have some forty dollar bundle where it's oh, like. My God. I don't know. It's like the weekend or something, right? The weekend. Yeah. Uh, he shoots people and he turns them into microphones, and then like his songs play yeah. as the death animation. That's. An it's like yeah. Imagine right, yo. Imagine somebody like tosses a flashbang, uh, and it turns out that the operator for the weekend gets flashbanged, right? And then you hear him sing, "I got blinded by the the, the flashbang," I guess. Bruh. Then you, I got blinded by the light, or you know, there's a song like a blind, blinding lights or something like that, and you hear him sing that. Yeah, that's ultimate right there. It's gonna be like the, the tr tracer pack or whatever. That's pretty cool, actually. I wouldn't be opposed to that if it uh. wasn't forty dollars. If I could earn it in the game, black cell. I, I would not be surprised. I swear to you, I would not be surprised if they up the price of that. No, it's no, thirty kidding. right now, right? <laughs> thirty dollars. Just one of those things, man. I, I can't get hyped for it, guys. And it's not that I can't afford it. Trust me, this is a tax write-off. Everything I, I do with this game and this franchise is a tax write-off. It's essentially not quite free, but it's essentially free, right? I still don't want to buy it because, I, A, I don't support it. 
B, it's the principle of the thing, and C, um, it's just stupid. I don't know, I, I don't really enjoy it that much. It just loses its luster so fast. If I don't enjoy the core game, if, if I don't have a car with a working yeah. engine, why would I give that car a paint job, for example? It doesn't make sense, yeah. does it? It's like pimp my ride, like, you know, your car is like, its brakes are, are completely- Facts, 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 but guys, recently, a massive streamer ended up caught cheating bitch long in hand. Click on this video on the screen, now, honestly, bro, like, this story is absolutely insane. Like, six are taking lie detector tests as well to prove that they're not cheating. You wanna know the results? Yeah, check it out. On the left, this video is on my second channel, yeah. On the second channel, guys, check both of these videos out, and I'll see you right there.